mabuhay! Welcome mga ka-BFF! This is Rona Tai and kasama ko pa din ang aking very handsome husband. Well, very, very handsome and patient. Ah, uh, okay. Yan. Yes, ma'am. Eric <laughs> Tai here at your service. Grabe, it's already Friday! Ang bilis ng araw. Can you imagine five days na, na nating makasama yung mga, mga ka-BFF online at syempre dito sa studio. Sobrang masaya pero malungkot na din ako because Today is our last day, love. Don't be sad, but I know I'm a little sad too. But that won't stop me from having fun. So healing sets na mga bisita natin today. Kaya, Eric, are you ready? I was born ready. Ha! Welcome to hashtag BFF FamCon. Family conversations. Bago tayo magproceed sa ating mga guests today, kwentuhan muna natin ang ilang sa ating mga ka-BFF kung ano ang mga nangyari mula nung kickoff event last September 21 and here in our daily show from Monday to yesterday. Oh, di ba ang saya saya? Yes. Kaya today si siguro duhi dante na happy ang ating last episode for hashtag BFF Famcon. Today we will have the following guests: young, young single, single adults. adults. Yan ang bida sa ating panel discussions. Susundan ito ng inspiring story hatid sa atin ni Zia Viger. Ang isa na namang panalang recipe ang ituturo sa atin ng ating guest couple for etc. And meron din special musical performance ng isang emerging artist natin. Kaya ang dami talaga, grabe. Simulan na natin to. What's a better way to start than by giving away our limited edition BFF merch? Right? Para sa mga nanood ng ating episode kahapon at sumali, ito po ang mga pangalan ng Wage. Alright, mga champion natin, here they are! Congratulations sa lahat ng winners natin. And don't forget to message our official account, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Philippines Facebook page to claim the exclusive hashtag BFFs2024 merchandise na panalunan nyo. For the last time, meron pang chance ang mga hindi pa nanalo. Today, lalabas muli ang BFF logo sa screen for 30 seconds during the show. Ito po ang contest mechanics. Number one, Panoorin ang buong show at bilangin nyo kung ilang beses lalabas ang BFF logo. Pangalawa, when you see the logo, kumuha ng selfie or groovy photo na kasama or nakikita ang BFF logo sa screen. Pangatlo, pagkatapos ng show, mag-comment kayo sa video nito sa official Facebook page ng church kung ilang beses lumabas ang BFF logo at i-upload din ninyo ang selfie or groovy photo ninyo. Number four, Commenters 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 with the correct answer will win our goodie bag of special 2024 hashtag BFF merchandise. So stay tuned everyone. Makinig at maging mabilis sa pag-take ng selfie or goofy with your family. Commenters number 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 will win tonight's spot the BFF logo contest. So galingan nyo ha, mga ka-BFF. Kaya niya yan. Para sa ating FAMCON or Family Conversation, makakasama natin today ang mga young single adults na sina Vince Baitik from Isabella and Noreen Nevera from Las Piñas. Welcome, welcome wow, come to the set. In. Grabe. Isabella. Welcome, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Right. Las Piñas. <laughs> yes, come on right. in. Hi, and welcome to our humble home. <laughs> yes, BFF home, everyone. Yeah. Today, gusto naman natin kachikahan ang ating mga YSA. Medyo matagal-tagal tayo dyan. <laughs> yes. And for sure, maraming makaka-relate sa inyo. Anong ages nyo? Uh, I'm 23 po. 23? 23. Same, 23. Oh, Baka kasi may mga nanonood dyan na single. 23 daw si Vince. <laughs> and 23 si Noreen. So, our first question. Okay. So yeah, what are the common concerns kayo ng YSA? Yung mga nag-struggle sa situation ng pagkakaroon ng limited access sa resources and sa support system. For example, 
um, they cannot afford yung affordable housing, um, inadequate healthcare, and yung financial aid para sa kanilang mga education. Yun po yung nagiging obstacle nila sa kanilang journey uh, para ma-unlock po nila yung kanilang full potential. Mm, okay. Kasi tough talaga situation yun eh. You're at the verge of being independent. Or actually, you're, you're independent na. Yes. You don't kind of live, you know, sa, sa, under the power or the influence of your parents anymore. Because you're big boy ka na, or big girl ka na. You can live with your own. Spera talaga number one, right? Yes. Resources. Yeah. How are they gonna? How are you guys gonna study? Oh, paano sila uh, makikipag-date? Again, <laughs> koche. Oh, di ba? O commute lang para makapag-date and yeah. stuff like that. We, we really understand that kasi dumahan din tayo doon, mm. right? Mm-hmm. We have to find jobs. We have to make a living for ourselves. Yeah. Career path. And what about mm-hmm. you? What is... I think for me, um, we don't know which path to take. Like for example, unayin ko ba education ko mm-hmm. or my career or building a family of my own. Especially, I think, uh, returned missionaries, they would have to decide whether, okay, I will have a job for me to build my own family or just pursue education first. Wait, wait so I think, hold on. Yeah. Are you guys, uh, you guys returned missionaries? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Both of you. Asan po kayo nag-serve? Sa Legaspi Mission po. Legaspi Mission! Mga ura ako dyan! Ura ako dyan! Doon ako nag-serve din. Naga. But Naga, mission before, buong Bicol. Bicol. You served where? Along the Pole Mission. Along the Pole Mission! Yes! yes. <laughs> Uh, great mission. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, awesome mission. Lahat yeah. mga taga Longapu, of course. That's an ambition. Yeah. Awesome mission. But Bicol is the best. Aye. Right. Along okay. is the best. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, yes, that, that's good. You guys have returned missionaries. Meaning, uh, major advance kayo. Because serving a mission, you learn so much traits, attributes, lessons, how to live and live life. So, siyempre, you're, you're being governed by a, a great mission president. I'm sure you love Hanggang ngayon, yes. you're thankful for companionship with your companions. You learn from each other. Ano yung naitulong yung mission sa inyo ngayon? If, uh, as, as a single, you know, YSA right now. I think for me, it has helped me to become more independent. Kasi before, I was so used to being dependent with my parents. But when I came home, um, I said, okay, before I go back to school, ko, kasi I have to wait for like uh, three months for me to be able to go back again to school. So I had to find opportunities to work. Mm. So thankful for my brother mm. who gave me work. Yeah, natulong niya sa akin to be more dependent. Because mm. mm-hmm. you guys mentioned, syempre, these are choices, right? You mentioned earlier one of the struggles is thinking about ano bang uunahin ko? Mm. Mag-aaral ba ako ulit? Or ganito ba? Diba? Or same as with you, diba? Parang ano bang gagawin ko rin? Like how am I gonna earn money? Or what? Diba? Those struggles. How do you guys prepare yourself when decision making? Pagdating sa decision making, mm. ang una ko pong ginagawa ay inaalam ko po kung ano yung yung mga common problems. Kapag na-define ko, kapag na, na-determine ko kung ano yung mga problems dun sa mga decision na gagawin ko, alam ko po kung paano magkakaroon ng solusyon. Ngayon, nagkaroon na po ako ng... Um, idea kung paano po i-solve i- yung problem. Magkakaroon po ako ng mga options. And dun sa mga options, kailangan ko pong pumili ng isa. And then, next, I have to understand na sa every decision na magagawa ay may mga sacrifices na magagawa din. Tatatlo na po yun, um, kapag nakapili na po ako ng options and na-understand ko na po kung ano yung mga sacrifices na magaganap, um, dun na po ako um, magagawa ng mga choice and decision. Oh, it's uh, very, you know, uh, specific, yeah. no, oh. structured, no. Grabbing. Ako, ano ko nun eh? Go with mm. the flow. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, go with the flow. Pero sa kanya on kasi, top of prayer. Oh, you know, oh, like, but there's a response, ano eh, more responsible thinking din yung sa kanya. Mm. There's a responsible approach because not everybody matures at the age of 23. Let's be honest, mm. diba? Some are stuck at the age of 16. <laughs> oh. But no, what about you? you? How do you deal with you know, coming up with decisions like that? Um, I think for me, a lot of time to ponder and ask the Lord, um, what is the best decision for me? So like, what Satan in scripture, di ba, nakalagay doon, you would feel if it is right, if you, he- if you have that burning desire, burning bosom, and you wouldn't feel something if it's not right. So I think um, decision making, it's all about you and the Lord helping each other to know what's the best decision for you to do. I love that one. And, and hanggang ngayon, even though we're, uh, just just five years ahead of you guys. Five uh, years. Five, five years? <laughs> Ten years, maybe. Uh, no, no. We, hanggang ngayon, that's how we deal with everything. 
we go to the temple, we pray a lot, not even just daily, it's like almost hourly, mm -hmm. you know, when we can, just to, to receive inspiration, mm -hmm. um, be edified on, on what choices we, should, we can make. And we know that the Lord is always there to, it's got our backs, right? Sometimes it's not the result or the answer we want. Mm. But we need to listen. Which is also sometimes tough to accept, exactly. right? Exactly. And, and that leads to our, you know, our question, like, how do you deal with these decisions? How come, how, well, how do you guys deal with, like, with, with stress, mm. anxiety? Because he's you know, oh, a career. Setbacks, that's yeah. You know, like, like, do you guys go through anxiety and, and depression sometimes? I think when I came home, I home. felt like I was very parang delayed or parang sobra na silang andito and I'm just here. Mm -hmm. So parang I don't know where to start again. Uh, yes, and yes. so, yeah. Common, I just, uh, yeah, yeah, common, common. problems. So I just need to trust the Lord and mm -hmm. see ko ano yung bibigyan niya sa akin. Pero naso surprise ako. Hindi nila sinabi yung challenge na yun na pressure sila sa society na kailangan ko mag-asawa. Kasi yun yung common question. Ayaw nila sabihin eh. Ayaw nila sabihin. Eh. Pero ganun, I'm sure it's always like that. Oh, ilang years ka na nakauwi. <laughs> uh, two years na. Wala pa oh. masawa. Parang ganun. Do, do, do you guys get you that? Do you guys feel pressure? Di ba usually members of the church din minsan magtatanong yan sa inyo? Like, oh, ano na? Di ba? <laughs> Anong taon na? <laughs> Sometimes po. <laughs> it's still fresh. Eh. 23 is still fresh. Though. Yeah, still, still yeah. Still fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is the dating scene being a YSA? <laughs> uh, I know it's a tough question, but <laughs> how is it? Like, um, do you have to, on some Sundays, go to a different ward or uh, or is it online? What do you do? There's an app, I think there is. There, there is? is. Yeah. Oh, see? Oh, surprise! But what do you do to... To date. Kumusta? Kasi I'm sure maraming viewers ngayon. Wait, al allowed find... na ba silang makipag-date? Ang question. Siyempre! <laughs> I think yung maganda po sa church is that it has a lot of opportunities for you to get to know people. Like for example, ang um, YSA gatherings, YSA conferences. Marami ba ngayon? Or, or medyo? Ah, meron kami sa October. So, yeah. Okay. So maraming mga ganong instances where you could meet people. So I think um, it's a good a way for us to get to know people and meet people yeah, in general, meet people, right? Meet people and Sometimes you're stuck in your own ward yeah. and your own yeah. stake, yeah. but shouldn't be limited, right? You should go out and sometimes kailangan mag effort ka na pumunta ka sa ibang ward or mm -hmm. ibang stake. Haven't tried it. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Me too. I, 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 I used to do it. Okay? I used to do it. Advice, advice. So, you know, when I was in my own ward, uh, when tapos na yung ward ko, or if I have a calling in the ward, tapos na, I go and I ward hop. Huh? Anong tawag dun? Ward hopping. Tapos? Anong gagawin? Hindi. You check. Masisimba ka ulit? Yes, yeah, syempre. <laughs> yeah, of course. More spiritual power. Pero ganun talaga. So, um, again, meron tayong institute. Ano pa yung mga ibang YS activities na meron tayo? Um, FSY. Meron oh, din po yeah, dun mga no? counselor. <laughs> If it's one, actually, you've done that in you. <laughs> oh. you know, so it's inspiring not just for the youth. Oh, it's also oh. inspiring for those that chaperone, usher, assistant, oh. that they teach. Counselors, yeah. No, I, 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 I know some couples that they met at FSY and I go, wait, FSY, youth kayo? No, no, no. What do you guys call them? Just like advisors or counselors? Counselors, 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 yeah, counselors. that's right. That's pretty cool because it's also another spiritual uh, hangout or spiritual activity where you can actually get to know someone. That's really nice. That's good, good idea. Oh, my discard. Yeah. <laughs> Besides word hopping. <laughs> you mentioned earlier as, as a young single adult, it's a little bit difficult. Because personal finances is also, you're adulting, right? And it's, it's, it's really hard. Adulting is hard. Personal finance is a big thing for YSA. Now, a lot are actually breadwinners in the family. Mm -hmm. diba? For Because of our culture as true, well. True, How do you true. manage your money? Ako hindi po breadwinner, pero okay. one thing na natutunan ko po uh, during sa my plan conference po namin, pag nagkaroon po ako ng, ng income or ng increase, kailangan ko po siyang i-divide into um, priorities like sa mga kailangan bayaran, sa mga needs and wants and of course sa uh, tithing. Mm -hmm. Number one. Yeah. Yes, Number the Lord's one. money. I think to to add what he said, I have a tracker in which yeah, pwede yun, kapag may expenses ako, I would write it there and I could see kung saan yung expenses ko na mataas. 
Kailangan mo yan, yung tracker na yan, di ba? Kasi gastos ka ng gastos uh, eh. May tracker naman ako. <laughs> oh, yung ano? shipping delivery truck. <laughs> Nagtatrack, dadating na bukas. Or ganon, ganon talaga. <laughs> pero seryoso ha. But that's very good advice <laughs> for everyone good. that's watching as well. Na you guys should track uh, whatever the Lord's money is. That's the Lord's money. Don't touch. Because more blessings, right? But I really think that, especially the two of you served the mission and you served the mission, I think that's something that you guys learn yes. from serving your mission. And it's a great preparation. How to talaga. budget. So overall, overall, what's your advice to the YSA that are watching now? When it comes to finances, I think self-control and self-discipline. Oh. You really have to have that. Okay, like for example, this is my budget for you know, gala with friends. Mm -hmm. If it's just 1,000, that's just 1,000. Don't put, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. money. Or okay, if it's only for your expenses or for the things that you want, just set it aside and just mm -hmm. control it. Noreen, what's your last name? Nivera. Nivera, what word are you in? Las Piñas. Las Piñas. Okay, guys, uh, Noreen, she's single <laughs> right now. 23 years old. <laughs> on the market. Pamain. Diba? <laughs> <laughs> all right, and Vince as well, all the way from uh, Pangas. Oh, wait, uh, Isabella. 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 Malayo din, right? Uh -oh. Pero he can he can do some drives, long drives. Pero meron din mga ward doon, may mga members din naman tayo sa Isabella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, advice mo din sa mga nanonood. Um, we have to have self control sa pag manage ng ating finances, kasi hindi natin um, alam kung kailan natin sila kakailanganin. And kailangan natin i-prioritize kung ano yung mga needs and wants natin. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right. Iba talaga yung mga YSA ngayon. Kaya thank you guys. I had a little throwback feeling reminiscing about my young uh, single Do so you miss life. it? No, I don't miss it at all. <laughs> and, and I can really attest to some of the experiences you know. Uh, oh, siya. Tutuloy na natin ang masayang kwentuhan na ito. Kasama ang ating resident tagapayo. Abangan nyo ang part 2. Pero for now, panoorin muna natin ang usapang generation gap between moms and kids sa Family Talk with Zia Viger. Hi mga ka -BFF. This is your best friend Sia Vigor and welcome to another episode of Family Talk with Sia. Sobrang masaya ako kasi mga kasing kulit and energetic ko yung mga ka ko today! Hi! Hello po! So please introduce yourselves. We have um, child and mom tandems from Pasig, Laguna, and Quezon City. So, introduce each other with an adjective. Hi, moms. Uh, this is my very active and very imaginative son, Joe Kim. Hi, everybody. This is my beautiful and smart mom, Yen Balio Tose. <laughs> Hi, mga Mars. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my sweet, one of my sweet and thoughtful sons because I have three. And this is Lissel Nones. Your turn. This is my mom, my awesome mom, and he's 48 years old. <laughs> tell her what my name, tell them what my name is. And he's Marielle Aguilar Nones. <laughs> this is my lovable and witty, pretty daughter, Myrtle. This is my um, this is my beautiful ma uh, mom mom that always knows what to uh, what to do when we have mistakes. <laughs> Jack and Jacqueline Bistayang Paco. We're so happy to have you guys here po. So thank you so much for being part of this. Para mas makilala natin ang ating kids and the relationship with parents, may ilang questions po ako para sa inyo. Ang first question ko po ay, how do you stay connected with your child despite differences or interest or technology? For our family, we make the effort. So for example, Joe Kim is very into um, video games. Oh. So we also dabble on video games para may connection pa rin kami with him. So what I do, the easiest available way to connect with them is to give them a hug, to kiss them and to tell them I love them. So that's uh, that's for me very easy. And for us, naman, uh, maganda talaga yung program ng church, lalo na yung sa Come Follow Me. Kasi ako, working mom and also homeschooling them at the same time. So the best way talaga na I, I, I could say na I have um, quality time with them is yung pag aralan yung Come Follow Me weekly. Thank you so much for those answers. My next question is How do you handle situations? 
where you and your child have different opinions or perspectives? Me, I like different perspectives. I like different opinions. Because I believe na as a parent, I can also learn from my children, from my son. And basta ang rule ko lang is that we agree to disagree with respect. So that's my rule. Anybody can say what they feel, say what they think, but it has to be with respect. Um, importante talaga na magkaroon ng communications. Pag sumasagot or marunong magsalita ang bata, um, naiiba as if parang disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Pero now, we encourage them to say kung ano yung nararamdaman at iniisip nila. Mm -hmm. Healthy communication. Kasi doon mas magkakaintindihan, mas ma-fill up yung gap na sinasabi kung magkakaroon ng open communication with the family. Next question is, What's one thing you've learned from your child that surprised you? Speaking of learning from my son, <laughs> um, I actually learned yung medyo mab mababaw. He's very into anime. Oh. So I'm learning anime from him. Oh. But Suguro, being his mom, has taught me how to be patient. And I think a lot of parents will relate. When you have kids, you will become patient. Me ako naman, um, yung breaking the generational cycle of yung as a parent, ikaw palaging tama. So natuto ako sa mga anak ko na hindi ako palaging tama. Na if they are right, I have to apologize. I have to say sorry. And I have to acknowledge that they are right. Nakatuwa pong malaman na sa batang age ng mga anak niyo, may natututunan kayo sa kanila. So when you and your parents disagree on something, how do you usually work it out? I do everything you want to tell me. Uh, so you do anything that I will tell you so you can get what you like. Oh, that's a good strategy. Like, what do you do? Bargaining. Yeah, bargaining. What do you do? You tell them. Writing and coloring and playing and playing with my baby. And I'll clean the toys up. Uh, before I let before you play I, the laptop. Yes. Oh, so we bargain, right? Yes. Okay. This is for the kids, Parin. What's one thing you've taught your parents that they didn't know before? There was one time that 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 mom always on her safari to like to like um, to to do what she wants on online, but but she never knows how to how to switch and which one she likes. Like she always deletes it so that she can have a new one, but it never works. That's why that's why I saw her struggling. So I said, Mom. There's a button here that that has uh, that has two double pages. You must press it and pick what, uh, what which account do you want. Sa mga moms po, ano yung mga words na narinig niyo sa mga anak yun that they you have to ask the meaning or something kasi new po sa inyo na sa generation lang nila yung mga words na yun. Parang uso ata ngayon yung mewing. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Ah, I'm doing. I thought, I thought, I'm doing. Like, yeah. Jawline. Yeah. So, what did you say? Like, that's the FOMO. So, I don't know what the meaning of that. So, what did you say? Fear of missing. Fear of missing out. Fear of missing out. This next question is for both the moms and you mga kids, can you share a moment where you both learned something important from each other? Nagulat ako one time, kumakanta ako sa house. Tapos, bigla na lang siyang sumabay nang nag sa second voice siya. So parang, ah, anak, yung talent mo, ganit sa akin yan. Talented ka pala dahil sa akin. What's a favorite activity you enjoy doing together? I like singing with my mom at night when my mom has karaoke. Um, apart from singing, honestly, because we have a small family, it's just three of us. Everything that we do is family. So, we have a family haircut, date, lahat na sabi sabay. So, um, Cheesy as it may sound, everything that we do together, church, bahay, everything, it's an enjoyable time for all. I hope for everyone. What's your favorite activity? Watching movies. Oh, yeah, you know, you know. Answer namin the <laughs> yeah, We also like singing and do a lot of things. 
Pero singing na lang, pwede ba tayo din masampol? Ah, oh, <laughs> siya na nag-volunteer. Very good, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, okay. Okay, one, two, three, go. It takes a man and a woman and one magic moment to know that in heaven. It takes a man and a woman to feel what they're feeling and ain't it a miracle that you take a woman like me to love a man like you. Wow, nice. <laughs> Thank you for that. What do you think makes your relationship strong despite the generational gap? Yung pagmamahal ng magulang sa anak, most especially. No, kasi tayo yung mas mature na in everything. So, uh, wala namang magiging generational gap when it comes to love. <clears throat> kasi I think all generations, magpapakita naman talaga ng pagmamahal niya. So it's the love and um, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Tama yung sinabi nga po yung gospel of Jesus Christ kasi wala yan, wala yan ano, um, pinipili na generation. Mm-hmm. So kung ano siya dati, ito siya dati ngayon and sa future. I agree sa amin yung openness, not only sa parent but also sa kids. Kasi sabi nyo nga, parang we, we say sorry to them when we're wrong. Sila din, they say sorry to us. We learn from them, they also learn from us. But apart from that, tulad ng sinabi nila sisters, yung church talaga, as you study the gospel and understand what it takes to be a real Christian, walang, yun nga eh, walang generation gap. Kasi it's, it's universal. All the lessons are universe. Sobrang masaya po ako. Dami kong natutunan sa inyo. Thank you so much, Sister Paco, Sister Nunes, and Sister Jose for sharing and showing an example sa amin. If we bonded well sa ating family, mas magiging forever and happy ang feeling talaga. And thank you din kay Joe Kim, Lissel, and Myrtle. Pero... Hindi po dyan natatapos dahil may hashtag family talk challenge po kami sa inyo. Okay lang po ba? Are you guys ready? Of course! Yes. 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 That's another episode of Family Talk with Sia. Abangan ang ating next gala. This is your host, Sia, and I'll see ya! I'll see ya! Thank you, Zia, for that fun interview. Salamat sa mummies and their cute kids for their beautiful insights. Right, now it's time for Eat Cetera, where we share good food and to discuss more important principles on welfare and self-reliance. Sa ating last three options, or uh, last three episodes, should say, natikpan natin lahat. Dulong pasta, crispy kangkong, and durian cookies. Di ba? Napakasarap. At natuto din tayo how to save and work hard. How to budget and live within our means. And why is it important to learn new skills and seek mentors? Tonight, for our final episode, We've got a couple whose work is dedicated to helping others and giving them a better future. Si Hubby is a welfare and self-reliance manager of the church, while Si Wifey Naman is the country director for Mabuhay Deseret Foundation, a surgical charity for physically disadvantaged people. They have two boys and one girl, and they are all enjoying playing musical instruments and board games. So let's welcome James and Melody Mendeza. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Pleasure. Welcome to Et Etcetera. All right. Thank Great you. to see you guys. And, uh, and syempre, ang gagawin natin is not not lang mag-discuss, yeah. magluluto tayo. So, sure. uh, Sister Melody, what do we have for today? Sige, para umpisahan ko. Una, ito yung mga ingredients natin. Anong pangalan pala na ito? Um, Lola Bebot's Baked Chicken. 
Wait, okay. LBBC. Lola Bebot's Baked Big Chicken. chicken. Yes. <laughs> Gusto ko yan. Ang mga masarap ha. Ah. Alright. So, bakit Lola Bebot? Um, it's been a recipe of uh, the family. It's actually named after my mom. Oh, wow. Mommy Bebot. Yeah. Lola Bebot kasi all the grandkids like it. Yeah. And I'm sure we will like it too. Yeah. So, yes. pasensya na yung mga nanonood ngayon. It's for us. <laughs> yes. But you never know. You might be able to have some too, okay? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Jay, um, James and Melody, got one question before we start getting into it. Mm -hmm. uh, we've learned a lot about self-reliance from our other guests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and, 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 our, and other couples, gaya ng budgeting, mm -hmm. learning new skills, and uh -huh. working hard. Yeah. Ano naman ang may share natin, um, you know, sa ating mga viewers on becoming self-reliant? And that means, start. That's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while so, Melody is while... preparing this, I really appreciated the things that uh, the other guests uh, shared with everybody, you know, about budgeting, working hard. Mm -hmm. You know what? I like to tie that all about the self-reliance plan that the church prepared. This is very inspired, Eric. Mm -hmm. This was thought of by the brethren themselves. Lahat ng topic na binanggit nila, working hard, budgeting, mm -hmm. you know, living within your means. Lahat, it's all tied up here. I think my wife really needs this advice of really? living, <laughs> living within our means or her means or, you know, as a family. It's important talaga. True, true. You know? No. you know what? Sometimes people think that this can only be used by people who are challenged or, you know, they really need to learn something. But actually, this can be used by people who are already accomplished. Oh, really? On their way to success, everybody can use it. It's so inspired talaga. Ang ganda. It includes budgeting, na dito yan, saving for the future, how to improve your skills. So when couples use this... Speaking of uh -huh. skills, check uh -huh. natin yung ginagawa na po yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sister Melody. So ito yung chicken. Yung pisang ko na siyang i-marinate with our Bilis garlic. <laughs> <Yes>. Dapat. <laughs> Soy sauce and our calamansi. Ayan. I love it already. Para the smell of it. Para medyo yung lansa. <sighs> And then we'll use our bare hands. Mm -hmm. with, syempre, may particular bang part ng chicken can, can, can we bring it yes, closer? Yes, sure. Para, yeah. yeah. So, ang part ay Thai. So, so well, you know, Eric. I love the yeah. Thai parts. <laughs> I'm, I'm really a Thai guy. Well, <laughs> drumsticks come second. Pero Thai talaga. So Pero there. you know what? Syempre, mm -hmm. as bodybuilders, it's always the breasts. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm a Thai guy. It's okay. good. Yeah. I, I love this. I can personally like take too. this home after. <laughs> <laughs> so usually, na remove na natin yung mga ano extra fats. Okay, yeah, but this time we'll keep it. Some of it. Yeah. Okay. Some yeah, of it. Some, some of, it. of it. Okay. Yeah. So like so in after, this recipe, mm -hmm. pagdating sa self reliance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ang key self reliance kagaya nito ng recipe niya are the ingredients and the process. Means that we talk about savings, mm -hmm. pero you have to understand the process. But sometimes it's too complicated. Again, going back to this, the brethren made it so simple. Kagaya ng kasimple simple process ni Melody dito. Mm. Sige nga, Mel, sa nabang process Ayan. So ngayon, um, lalagay na natin siya dito sa egg. Actually, itong egg uh, na beat na natin. Um, before we go into um, marinating everything, we have to preheat the oven first. The oven, yes. And then we have to prepare the dish. Okay. Uh -huh. So, great. kailangan natin muna mag grate ng, ano, ng butter. The butter. Butter. Because wow. it's the uh, in, ano, pinaka secret ingredient. Ito. Hindi lang yan. Maraming butter. No? Maraming butter. I love it. Yung secret. So, <laughs> you, na. you grate the butter. You also grate the cheese, or that's mamaya pa? Mamaya, mamaya. Ah, okay. Last yon sa ibabo yun. Yeah. Ah. So there, I think this is enough. Mm -hmm. uh, once we get the line, the butter sa mm -hmm. buong pan, and then we'll it smells good. Yeah. We'll it smells very, here. very good. Ang napakasarap. Yeah. Lilipat na natin lahat ng chicken dito para mas madali siya. So yeah. sometimes, di ba yung mga marination, usually, sometimes they can do it overnight. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's better Mas, overnight yeah, better, actually. Better. But siyempre, oh, we but just started to the... Uh, yeah, I know, I know a little bit about the kitchen. But <laughs> 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 uh -oh. usually, 35 minutes to an hour, pwede na siya. Pwede na. But if you could do it overnight, mas better. Mas better. Oh, oh. Yeah. Pwede mo rin siyang i-massage kasama nung mm. marinate. Ayan. So pagka so the, na, mm. na dredge na siya, maigi sa... Egg and all the spice. Yan. Toyo natin. Ready na siya. We could start. Interesting. Can you pass yes. me the tong? Right uh, yep, there? I got it right Ayan. here. Yan. So you can help me. Yeah, kahiram ako. So, pwede na natin siya ilagay dito sa 
Let's move this. Ah, yeah, subbreeding. Subbreeding. Ito yung tinatawag nating ano, um, tempura flakes. Tempura yeah. Flakes. So not really like the it. bread crumbs. So ilaline the natin siya dyan. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. So dahan dahan. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, very econom economical tong recipe na to. Kasi, um, eto lang, pwede ka na magpakain ng isang buong family. <laughs> really? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Depending kung gaano kara gaano na kara yung family, right? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes oh. you have small family, yeah. big family. Pero oh, sa amin, true. kahit small family kami, malaki din yung yeah. serving. Din <laughs> din, uh, serving natin. So magandang may leftovers din. Actually, yung family namin, they like it na leftover to. Kasi pag na-ref na siya, tas initin ulit, masarap para siya. Ah, okay. And the kids um, learn to do that na, di ba? Yeah, some of our children. Yeah. Like, and speaking of kids, the self-reliance can exactly. also be applicable for kids. Yeah. You know what? Younger. Our children, before mm. they went on missions, we were doing this together with them. They liked it. They used it during their mission, after their mission. Wow. And this was what got them to start saving for their missions. Yeah. When they got home from the mission, this got them saving for their education, even for marriage. Uh, excellent. So how do we get a form like that? How do we get the self reliance? Very easy. It's available with all the bishops. They just have to print it, ask for a copy, start using it. The instructions oh, are actually it. here na. Step one, step two, it's all here. So talagang madali lang. They all need to read it. Do it together as a family, sa family lang evening. It's very exciting. Or as an individual? you can As an do. individual yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay, so it's bagay for <coughs> lahat ng ages. Not no eating. Just like our food yeah. right here. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. All right. The... Kahit matanda, kahit bata, they like Lola Bebot's big chicken. <laughs> yeah, Lola Bebot's chicken. At saka, magandang gawin talaga yung self-reliance plan on a regular basis, not just one time lang. Diba? Correct. Oh. So, if you do it often, like for your family, if you could do it like, uh, quarterly or my kids I mean, monthly. Monthly. Can, can I take one of those forms home? Of course, yeah, of course. I'll uh, definitely grab one of those. I'll give yes. one now. Maraming salamat. <laughs> there we go. self reliance yeah. Form, so, the plan, just right here. Fill it in. Give it a shot. Discuss it as a family. Or you can also discuss it as an individual if you're by yourself or if you're a return missionary and you've got some savings, you've got earnings and stuff like that, this is the best thing to do. Go through it and this will bless your life. Yes. Right? yes. So, right. nandito na tayo ha, sa okay. uh, malapit the toppings. na tayong ending. Yeah, malapit na. So, imamag ana tayo ulit. Ah, yeah. um, the rest butter of the ulit. butter. Yes. Beautiful. So, beneath wow. the chicken and above the chicken pala. No? <laughs> that, uh, <sighs> para talagang ano siya, uh, malasa. Yeah. Ang galing. Yeah. So and look, it already looks pre presentable already, di ba? Mm -hmm. Parang nasa Parang ano. Tapos silang natin. Tapos, ang isa pang... <laughs> yeah. Ang isa pang... Actually, um, pwede rin tong ano, uh, sa mga events and parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Magagamit din siya. Yeah. Tapos See? yung cheese. Pakiabot yung cheese. And cheese, yes, yeah. I got you. Right there. Yeah, Usually, it's a melt. Sa events, ano, 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 fried ito. chicken. Yeah. Ano pa ba yung chicken sa mga events? Uh, fried chicken. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fried chicken. I think favorite yan yung fried chicken or, or wings. Wings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, just konting ano. Uh, what is that? Grounded or minced garlic. Nice. Yeah. Yun. Para, Those that love garlic, mm, yeah, syempre, beautiful. Yeah. Minsan nilalagyan din natin ng chicken bouillon. Pero konting-konti lang. A... Uh, chicken cube. Uh, chicken cube. Yeah, para medyo malas lang siya. Flavors yes. lang sa ibabo. Konti lang. I-grate lang natin siya. Ayan. Ayan. So, this is ready. Pwede na natin siyang balutin. Ay, uh, takpan. Oh, okay. And then we put it in the oven while it's yes. covered. All right. Ayan. So, you get that melting effect. True. I get it. Ayan. Everything Ayan. melts. I love it. So, Oh, wow. Great job. And that was quick, huh? Habang yeah. kakusap tayo. Mga <laughs> 10 minutes lang, di ba? And I really can't wait to try this later. I can't also wait to apply yung mga advice and suggestions nyo na binigay nyo. Hindi lang sa akin, pero sa ating lahat. Yung mga nanonood dyan, the self-reliance from the Ledesmas. All right? Especially how to how the church can help us. So, babalik na tayo sa part 2 ng ating kwentuhan with 
the young single adults. But before that, some unang special musical performance. Our singer has been or has been a music lover since she was a child and has performed in various events like school concerts, competitions, and even weddings. She also composes songs as a way to express herself and be a voice for others. To sing Beloved for this year's youth album is one of our YSA guests, Noreen Nevera. Perfectly 
Thank you, Noreen. Come on back. I'm galing, right? Ganda ng boss. This is perfect. You know? Jealous ako. You're talented naman. Yeah. Pero ibang section. <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> ang daming talented people ngayon, especially the YSA. Yeah, and ayan, para sa pagpapatuloy ng ating FAMCON or Family Conversation, makakasama natin muli si Sister Diane Cruz, ang ating Area Organization Advisor. Welcome again, Sister Diane! Welcome! Hello! Welcome. Nice to see you again! Nice Yes. Before we, we get to you, Sister Diane, there's actually a very special question uh, that we received. Now, how do you deal with the stress of career uncertainty or setbacks? And what advice would you give others facing similar challenges? Great That's question, right? Dibam. Magandang question. Yan. We asked our good friend Jairus Aquino about it and he sent his reply because he wouldn't be with us today, but meron siyang video. Panoorin natin to. Stress in career, uncertainty, and setbacks are really hard. It is one of those challenges that's sobrang hirap pag pinagdadaanan na natin. Kasi to be honest, I still often experience these kinds of challenges. Because being an actor is not that different from other jobs. We also experience setbacks like pag hindi natuloy yung projects or hindi napunta sa amin, di ba? But also uncertainty, meron din yan sa work namin kasi this work of ours is not forever. At the end of the day, we still think saan kami in the future, paano na kami in the future, no? But I try to do my best by focusing on what I can control. Maintaining faith and trusting in His will and timing. Kasi maybe this is all happening for a reason. The Lord wants me to learn something. And maybe it's not yet for me. That's why I always try to remember that these challenges always lead to growth and learnings that we can use to be a better person. Learnings that we can use in the near future to make our lives better. I also stay grounded through prayer, scripture study, and seeking guidance from the Holy Ghost. So my advice to other young single adults who are currently experiencing setbacks or uncertainty is to trust in the Lord's will and timing. Stay faithful in Him and stay diligent in your efforts. And remember this counsel from the Bible. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways, always acknowledge Him and He shall direct thy paths. So keep moving forward with trust in the Lord, knowing He will guide you through this uncertainty. That was good. Nice one, Jairus, huh? Ganda ng uh, message niya. And actually, it's pretty straight to the point as well. With having trust in the Lord uh, and, and living and finding out that those things that you can control is what you should be worrying about, not the, one, not the things that you cannot control. Yes. Mr. Uh, Sister Diane, what would you That's like to say true. about that? Tayo kasi nabubuhay tayo with many uncertainties. So, mm -hmm. yung mga uncertainties na yun, nakakatakot sa totoo lang. Hindi natin alam kung ano mangyayari bukas. You know, especially sa mga YSAs natin. Siyempre, marami kayong pinagdi-decide. Madalas ang naririnig ko mga questions dyan eh, Naku, tama ba yung career na, na papasukin ka? And sometimes, I had this experience pa nga, ikakasal na lang siya. Nag-iisip pa siya, tama ba itong gagawin ko? Yung mga ganong, ano, ano, yung mga ganong pagkakataon. And of course, we know sa plan of salvation ng ating Heavenly Father, pinadala niya talaga tayo dito to exercise our faith. Kung alam na natin yung lahat ng bagay, then we wouldn't be needing faith. Hindi na natin kailangan manampalatay sa Kanya kung if we know all things. So, kailangan talaga natin i-exercise yung faith natin. So, kung temporal yung ating mga concerns, so we need to work on our skills. Yung education natin para sa temporal concerns natin. Kung problema naman natin, yung spirituality natin, do something that we can I know, improve our spirituality. We can always trust the Lord that He can guide us to do things in their right order, no? One goal at a time. Hindi kayo ilangang madaliin. Oo. Uh, yung mga big plans natin, pwede natin sila uh, i-divide into smaller uh, goals. Unti-unti lang. Uh, patience is really very important as we try to reach our goals. Nothing comes easy when our goals are great. With everything that the world has to offer, paano nyo hinaharap yung mga uncertainties na yun. I think for me, what I remember is yung sinasabi palagi to walk by faith and not by sight. Just like what you said. Kasi sometimes we wanna see things kagad na okay, iti makuha ko if I do this. So I think just like what you said, small simple steps. Kasi we wouldn't know unless we try to do something. So just if you don't know yet what's about to happen, just take small actions and just try to do things and 
that's where you can see na okay this is one's for me uh, para naman po sa sa akin um pa, pa, patuloy lang po sa pag-engage ng mga lahat po ng bagay na dumadating po sa buhay kasi lahat po ng mga bagay po na magbibigay po sa atin ng experience and yung mga experience po na yan magbibigay po sa ang makakatulong po sa atin in the future sa mga uh, future decisions na gagawin po natin sa buhay Oh, I love that. No, kung nandun tayo sa stage of life natin na hindi pa tayo certain kung saan ba tayo pupunta. Minsan kasi meron tayong idea na kapag pinasok natin yung isang bagay, yun na yun. Parang iniisip natin, ah, ano na, uh, I will work hard for this hanggang sa, you know, umabot sa punto na ma-realize natin saan pala nag-try ako ng ibang bagay. So it, it will always be good for us to try different things. Mag-try tayo ng different options. Mm. And then, kapag nakaka-feel tayo ng mas inclined tayo, mas interested tayo sa isang bagay, and then maybe we can work on learning those things even more. Focus on them, specialize on them. Temporarily, we would need to be learning at least three skills na with those skills, pwede tayong kumita. You know? So, that is uh, one good way for us to uh, be temporarily self-reliant. I do have a question. It's for you, Eric. It's not for the student. Maganda yung ano, focus ako dito eh. I'm curious ako kasi nakaka-relate. Talagang agree na agree ka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Question ko sa'yo, what lesson would you share your your younger YSA self? Ay, stay pogi. Stay pogi. Ganun talaga. Yan na yun. Hindi, okay. What? So you said, Anong lesson? Ah, kasi natutunan kasi siyempre, ah. you've seen the end of the tunnel of the YSE kasi merit ka na. So, oh, at the end, what, what was the lesson that you've learned that you're, you wish you could share with your younger or your YSA self? I, 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 enjoyed, I enjoyed my YSA days. I had a great time. Yeah, ward hopping, uh, mm-hmm. being single, uh, being self, not selfish, but you can say a little selfish kasi wala kang ibang responsibility. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kung di, ikaw lang, di ba? You don't have a, a child. You don't have a asawa. Mm-hmm. So the money goes to you. Mm-hmm. But you got to use that wisely. Uh, so besides using money wisely, spiritually, I must say, is to have a calling in the church. If you don't, be aware that Satan is strong and he will try and tear you down into a part where there's going to be a time you go to church and you're going to still feel a little empty. If you don't have a responsibility in the church, you don't have a calling in the church, you're not going to be compelled to the spirit. You're not going to be compelled to administer, uh, to administer, to serve, to love others. Because you're just going to go to church. Okay, I'm doing my part. Temple, uh, church, partake of the sacrament and go home. And, and that's it. And, and go back to normal life. Because hey, Monday mm-hmm. to Friday, Monday to Saturday, normal life. But... Mm-hmm. You have nothing to really focus on in church. Mm-hmm. You have nothing other than serving yourself. I would recommend if you don't have a calling, get one. I know a lot of people ngayon sa YSA especially ngayon natatakot sila sa calling eh because it's gonna tie them down. They say, "Kailangan magsimba ng simba every Sunday because I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to prepare talks, I have to prepare maganong ganon." We 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 can get overwhelmed with that. But sa totoo lang, the calling is what's going to help you even more. When the teacher teaches the student, the teacher also gets taught while he is learning and preparing for whatever he is teaching. So you teach by the Spirit, you also get taught from the Spirit as well. That's very powerful. I love that. Um, I love Yung, yung, yung callings natin, I hope that we can see it as a way that we also minister in a general sense. Yung lahat ng efforts natin to serve our families, to serve the church is ministering. And it's ministering as the Savior would. And if we will serve as the Savior serves, we will know the Savior. Our next question is, what efforts we can do to be a light to our friends both inside the church and outside the church? Uh, para po sa akin, um, simple lang, to serve them. Serve one another, kahit sa mga maliliit na bagay na kaya po nating gawin. And always remember yung what would Jesus do. Mm-hmm. I think if you have that mindset, 
Yeah. Magagawa mo na lahat ng bagay to yeah. to care for each other, to help to reach out. Mm-hmm. And so you can testify just by being you. It would yeah. radiate in your countenance. So mission talagang ganyan yung uh, yes. I think yung mindset na instill, no? Right. Instead of thinking about, you know, uh, getting for yourself, talagang it's giving for others. Even though my path was a little bit different, but what I've learned or based on experience lang, like you just have to lead by example as well mm-hmm. for those parang it, it makes them want to know Christ because of you especially with the yung mga non-members of the church so we really have to be not careful but really mm-hmm. yung talagang what would Jesus do right mm-hmm. because that's how they will see Christ through us mm-hmm. ganda nun actually when I just got on the mission in uh, my MTC was Provo MTC and I was thinking hard and contemplating kung Nandito na, ta- nandito na ako sa mission, MTC, I'm learning. Ano pa talaga ang kailangan ko? Anong talagang purpose ko? Am I supposed to be here? N- Nandumaan yung mga, yung mga tanong eh. And I'm already at the MTC na. You know? And then I saw this, uh, 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 this quote that says, Live in such a way that those who don't know Christ will want to know Christ because they know you. So meaning, live by example. Which reminds me of this experience. A member of the church came up to me and said, May isang tao na nagpabinyag dahil napanon niya yung interview ko uh, sa YouTube. Na sinere ko na I'm a member of the church. Pero yung tao na yan, he doesn't know me personally. Pero nabaptize siya because he saw my video. And I was like, wow. And then I said, sino pa yung member na ito? His brother just said, hindi, I just want you to know. Your option, uh, yung ginagawa mo, maganda. Just keep doing that, you know? There, there are people watching you. You don't know. Mm-hmm. Pero may mga tao na, they're touched by what, you know, what you're sharing. And that's always been a testimony to me, man. A reason. Kasi, should I go back home to Australia? Kasi di, hindi ako lumaki dito sa Philippines, eh. Mm-hmm. Nag-mission lang ako dito, eh. And when I came back, something was telling me, urging me, your option, dito ka na. Or Eric, just stay here. I just don't know why. Well, I know why. My, I live my, my wife here. No, I well, wasn't in the U.S. She was in the U.S., pero pumunta siya dito dahil sa career ko. Nag-sacrifice din siya. But uh, it goes to show, power of example. Just be yourself and try and live, live the, the Lord's path and stay in that. What I remember uh, with your testimony is aligned. Teach the gospel, if necessary, with words. So, parang sinasabi niya na most of the time talaga, Nagtuturo tayo ng gospel, just like what he did. No, hindi kailangan talaga maging preachy about it. Although, of course, there are times that... You need to. You, we need to, of course. But it's most of the time, it's the light that we bear mm. through our actions. And that ends our week-long discussion with YSA, parents, youth, and elderly. We hope and pray that as much as we learn from all those inspiring conversations, you receive the answer you're praying for and find ways you can become more united with your family. So thank you guys, uh, Noreen, Vince, and Sister Diane. Thank you for your expertise as well. And as a treat, may hinanda kami ng isang napakasarap na pagkain from the Ledesma couple. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, salo salo na. Ito yung parang Ito na fish product. Gusto ko talaga oh, itry ito. Wow. Takam na takam na takam na ako <laughs> kanina pa. Wow! Grabe. Perfect timing. So alam mo na yung lulutuin natin. Ito, oh, yan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ang sarap naman talaga nito. Kanina pala pinapanood ko na. But syempre, hindi pwedeng kayo lang ang may treat. May treat din kaming prepared para sa inyo ang BFF Flute Bags. So by the way, for today's <laughs> today's spot, the uh, contest logo. Ayan, may Our mga BFF pangalan pa. logo, yeah. Okay, here we go. Yay. This one's for Vince. Thank you. Yeah. James and Melody. Thank you. There you go. Parang kulang eh. Saan nga sa amin? Okay. So by the way, the, for today's spot, the uh, BFF logo contest, we will post the names of the winners on our Facebook page. 
The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint Lang. Philippines. Pagkatapos ng show, mag-comment kayo sa video ng ito sa official Facebook page ng Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints kung ilang beses lumabas ang BFF logo at i-upload din ninyo ang selfie or groupie photo ninyo. Commenters number 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 with the correct answer will win our goodie bag of special 2024 hashtag BFF merchandise. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyo guys. Kain na. At syempre, maraming salamat din sa lahat yung mga nanood dyan at mga ka-BFF sa online world na tumutok sa at sumama sa atin sa loob ng 5 days. So sana po, katulad ng mensahe na ninanais po iparating sa families and that comes from the family proclamation to the world na happiness in family life is most likely to be achieved when founded upon the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ay may sentro po natin ang ating buhay sa gospel of Jesus Christ. There is no greater happiness than living His gospel. And I really, really treasure and value, it was a great reminder also that I learned throughout the week, for us to be patient with our loved ones and our children as a parent, you know, in our family. I think it doesn't, you don't have to be a parent to um, implied or, or uh, apply this in our family, which is to love them first, diba? to minister and to teach. That's really one great takeaway for me, especially. So yeah, I love it. And don't forget to share this episode of Hashtag Family Conversation or Hashtag BFF FamCon to your family and friends. Don't forget to like and follow the official Facebook page the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Philippines, for updates. You can also visit comeuntochrist.org. You can find us also on YouTube, Instagram, and X, formerly known as Twitter. This has been Rona Thai. And this has been Eric Corruption Thai signing off right now. Don't forget, when you hashtag BFF, BFF Building Forever Families. Family.